everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Valerie Dawson and I am doing my December empties of 2018 I think that's what she would call it but this is 2019 but I, since I emptied them in 2018 yeah I think I call it that all right so yeah I got a few products but before I get into that I do want to say if you're interested in recreating this look I did when very similar and I uploaded it December 30th I believe it was titled uh, rose gold shimmer eye with a classic red lip um, of course I don't have a classic red lip um, but I did use the Smashbox um, in that video I used the Bing color um, and right now I have Violet Riot Violet Riot um, color so it's still the same eye or lip palette but everything else is exactly the same I've been rocking out this eyeshadow look for a week now so if you're in, interested in seeing what I use and how I use them then watch that video and also I just did some updates to my channel um, that was my most recent video I uploaded that January 30th it was a Thursday um, so yeah if you want to see when exactly what all my channel updates are like when I'm posting what times I'm posting what days and what exactly kind of content I plan on doing this year then watch that video um, I will leave that card right here then watch that video um, also have a giveaway going on right now I hit 2k and to celebrate that I did a 2k giveaway um, I uploaded that December 27th and you have till uh, January 26th to enter that giveaway so you have plenty of time um, I have like over a hundred and sixty dollars like a retail value of over $360 worth of makeup on that video or on that giveaway so please don't forget to enter that I will put the card right here for the giveaway I will also have it linked in my description box below and it will be on an end card at the end of this video so that way really easy and convenient for you to check that giveaway going on but yeah let's get on with the empties here is my empties I did a little damage this month but normally I do a lot more and I have to throw away some that way this video won't be an hour long but this time it's kind of small because I started on a lot of new products because of the holidays coming on I just been getting a lot of early gifts so I wanted to try those out and uh, get rid of them but anyway let's get on to it the first product I am pulling out is this Ella Mason Honeysuckle. It's a liquid soap from France for hand and body. I use this as a body wash, um, but I would recommend it for more of a, like a hand soap because it wasn't the greatest for like a body wash. It did its, it did its job, but you know, I think it would be better as a hand wash. But um, I got this from TJ Maxx. Um, I believe it was $4.99. If you're interested in seeing my past TJ Maxx haul, I will leave the card right here where you can check out the playlist, my TJ Maxx playlist. Um, I love TJ Maxx. You find such great, great buys there. Um, but I never heard of this brand before. Um, I will say it. The, I love the honey, honeysuckle smell. As all y'all that has um, been on my channel for a while. No, I love honeysuckle. I'm crazy about honeysuckle. So, but um, I will say this is just like a mild honeysuckle smell. Um, it doesn't have like an overpowering smell. Um, I believe it would be better as a hand soap than a body wash, but it's still a great product and I would repurchase it just for a hand soap. The next thing I have is the Oreo International Delight um, coffee creamer this stuff is so good like okay so if you've ever tried the Reese's um, International Delight coffee creamer and you didn't like that then maybe you wouldn't like this but I love the Reese creamer um, and I, I gotta say no different for this one I really loved it 
Um, it is sweet. It's very sweet. Um, it's not overpowering sweet. Um, but I really loved it. And yes, I totally will repurchase this again. The next thing is this Treat Me Bath Burst. Um, it's like a, it's a bath burst, but it's kind of like a uh, bath bomb, but it doesn't work as good. Um, I got this at the Dollar Tree. As you can tell, it's not in there no more, but mine was a little pineapple and it was so glittery, which the glitter didn't go in the bathtub and like all over me like I thought it was going to. It did when I like, held the bath bomb before putting it in my tub. The glitter was going everywhere, but I don't really mind that. Um, and it, it doesn't stick around. Like you know how glitter, um, like fake glitter or whatever you wanna call it, glitter just uh, gets on you and then it's like in your brows next week. This wasn't like that. It was just a glitter that easily disappeared. Um, so it wasn't convenient in that way, but it doesn't, it doesn't um, have the fizziness like a normal bath bomb would have. But for the Dollar Tree, I thought it was pretty cool because it smelled good and some of them did turn the color a different color. Um, so, I mean, it was nice. I liked it. I would repurchase it myself. The girls um, like the ones that I personally make my own better than this, but if you don't want to make bath bombs and you just want something that makes your bath smell better and maybe I give it a tint and also if I will say I think it has Epsom salt or something like that because it does make it feel a little bit more relaxing but it could be just in my head I don't know but um I like them I would repurchase it for myself and I just won't share them with my daughters anymore um if you're interested in seeing how I make my bath bombs I did one a long time ago on my channel probably about a year ago um, I'm not sure, but I will try to find that and leave, leave the little note card here of that video. That way, in case you're wondering how you can make your own bath bombs. Um, but to be honest, uh, it's not really convenient for me to get the citric acid you need in bath bombs. That's why I rather buy mine. Um, the only reason why I would buy mine, basically, because... I mean, it still costs a lot to buy all the ingredients, but not as much as like a Lush product, which I've never tried Lush's bath bombs before. But anyways, about this, it's the bath, bath burst from the Dollar Tree. I liked it. My girls didn't. They liked my homemade ones more, but you know, it's worth the try. It's only a dollar, so. The next thing I have is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. Um, it is the Define Dark can. I love this. I will repurchase. I'm trying to find a cruelty free dry shampoo that I really love because Batiste is not cruelty free. Um, but I will repurchase this if I can't find one right now. I haven't tried it yet, but I did get a, um, I think it's called Big Sexy dry shampoo. Um, I haven't tried it yet, so maybe that will be on my next empties. If not, maybe the next one whatever it eventually get emptied by me i wanted to use it but i had to use this first but yeah i would repurchase this and re recommend it if you're not on the cruelty free journey um so yeah but this is for dark hair because it will give you a dark hair cast and you have to i would personally recommend it before makeup because if you're not careful you can get it on your forehead and it'll be brown and it could kind of look like bronzer, but you know, after you do your makeup, you want it to look like that. So yeah. The next thing is the Bath & Body Works Sparkling Knots 24 Hour Moisture Body Cream. Um, I really like this. Yeah, it was one of the better smelling ones. There's one in here that I liked even more and that I'll show you next, but let's see. The fragrance notes is Ice Pear Sheer Fres fresca sugared coconut sandalwood and white musk i want to say the white musk and the pear smell was the strongest really the white musk was the strongest for me so if you're into those type of scents you will like this but it wasn't my favorite scent 
and I would see me passing this by again if I did another like hand cream like haul or something I got this from my sister for Christmas by the way but like it's not the best but it's not the worst I would see myself passing it by but I wouldn't be hesitant on using it up again because it was really it was nice okay this is the one I really did enjoy it is the in the stars uh, body cream and the fragrance notes is star flower sandalwood musk sugared Angelo? I don't know. What? Agarwood? Radiant Amber. I will say the the Sandalwood Musk and the Sugared Tangelo smell was the strongest to me um, because it wasn't just like a Sandalwood Musk smell. It had a little bit more smell to it, but Sandalwood personally stuck out to me the most. But yeah, it was if you like sandalwood smell, you will love this one, um, and I would recommend it, and I would love to have it again. The next thing I'm really happy that I used up because I wanted to use this up to get it out, um, but it is a very nice um, face wash. That's what I used it for, but it's the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser for face and body. Um, I mostly just use this for my face. Um, I would use two pumps. It's very good for dry sensitive skin. I will recommend it to anybody that hasn't tried it because they sell it at the drugstore. I know um, some people don't like it um, because of the way it cleanses, but personally I love it. Um, let's see. The reason why I wanted to get this out is because it isn't cruelty free and I'm looking for a nice face wash that is cruelty free. So yeah. Would I repurchase it? Yes, I definitely would repurchase it, um, but I'm more intrigued of trying more cruelty-free uh, face washes, so I will be hesitant on buying it just because of that, but I really love the product, and I loved it. It worked great, and I would recommend it if you're not looking for a cruelty-free version of it. The next thing I have is really disgusting looking. Is the Wet n Wild Makeup Remover. Um, this is what it looks like. It's got like a little pump thing where you can put your cotton swab in it and push it up into the cotton swab. Um, I liked using this. As you can tell, I used it all the way up. I will say it's very, very oily. So you would swish it around and then pump it. Um, but it's an oily type of makeup remover. I will say that if that doesn't bother you, then this won't. It will probably, you would really love it if that doesn't bother you. I liked it because that doesn't necessarily bother me. Um, would I repurchase it again? Probably not just because, like, I don't hate the oily feel when it cleanses me, when it's cleansing my skin but I don't like it if that makes sense um it's wet and wild if you can find a sale on it I definitely recommend trying it out and seeing if you like it it does remove your makeup very well um I like to use it for like a first cleanse thing I would use it one cotton swab uh, or one cotton square uh, full of this around my eyes and then another one for my face and then I would wash my face in the actual bathtub or shower um, so it's nice for that um, I would only pur purchase it again if I saw it on sale so I would purchase it again but not for regular price you know it's not great but it's not bad the next thing I have is the Joa selfie ready setting spray and this is the dewy form which is not that dewy but um it's not dewy at all it's not um it's kind of like not they shouldn't even put that on there they do have a matte version which i have not tried because i am i do got dry skin so i don't like matte normally but this is not dewy um which that's okay it did its per purpose i mean per it did its purpose um this is not my favorite setting spray i love 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 the morphe setting spray um my mom bought me three cans for my christmas so yeah i'm stocked up on the morphe setting spray 
But if you're in CVS and you see the Noah brand on sale, I would recommend to pick it up. It's nice. Um, it's just not the best. Um, I think I do like the Wet n Wild. Like I did a uh, review of it, talking about it, um, but my view has kind of changed a little bit. Um, there's so many other setting sprays that I would purchase over this one, but like I said, if it was on sale at CVS, I would pick it up if I couldn't find a Wet n Wild one. I love, I like that one more. Um, I just hate that it has small packaging, but I would just buy two of them. Um, and I do like this, um, it's the Physician's Formula Insta Ready Setting Spray. I love this more than the Joa one. Um, I don't really have a reason why. It has a great spray, um, but it didn't really make my makeup melt, in, melt into the skin and make it appear better. Um, and that's why I'm going to kind of pass on this. Um, but if you find it on CVS or wherever else you can buy this and it's on sale, I would recommend it. But if it's not on sale, I wouldn't really recommend you even trying it. Um, it's not a bad product. It's just i rather try different ones or continue using what I already like in my collection more. The next thing is really disgusting. Uh, this in the corner is actually uh, lash glue, so I don't think it's something else that's really disgusting, but is the Kiss True Volume Plumped Up Effect Eyelashes. This is what the box looks like. Here is what the lashes looked like. So it's very natural looking, and to be honest, I can't remember wearing them, but I know they was great lashes. I love Kiss lashes. I don't think Kiss is cruelty free, but it's a nice drugstore lash that I really love and enjoy, and I definitely would recommend you trying them out if you're not on the cruelty free kick. The next thing is the Himalayan Sea Buckthorn Facial Cream. Um, it's from Sea Book Wonders is the brand. Um, it's just a little pump bottle. It's nasty looking, but it works very good. Um, I got this from Thrive Market when I used to get Thrive Market, but I don't get Thrive Market anymore because I did tamper, or I did step my little toes in it and tried out a bunch of cruelty-free and more natural products from them, and I did enjoy that service, but I just canceled it because I think I'm good on my own now. Um, especially after um, Rescue His Love showed me the uh, Cruelty Cutter app. Um, if you don't remember me talking about that yet. But this is a very nice um, facial cream and I would recommend it if you know where to buy it. I don't know where else to buy it besides Thrive Market, but I did like it and I wouldn't hesitate to repurchase it. It was really nice. It wasn't like, oh my gosh, you gotta try this product, but it wasn't bad at all. Like, if I had a crap ton of this, I would definitely use it all. The next thing is the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation. I believe my mom got this uh, for my Christmas present last year. So here I am a year later and I used it up, finally. Um, I did give it a break every, every now and again and used other foundations in between time but um, I will say since I do have dry skin this isn't the best for dry skin but I found if I mixed it with any type of facial oil right now I am using the Shea Moisture Beauty Hack 100% Pure Morocco oil if I use this two together perfect I basically had to mix it with oil to make it suitable for my type of skin, but it was very full coverage and I did enjoy a real last bit of it. Would I repurchase? Probably not because I love trying new foundations, um, but if I saw it on a real good sale, I wouldn't hesitate to buy another one. And would I recommend it to you guys? Yes, um, if you have a facial oil and you, if you got dry skin, if you have a facial oil, and you don't mind mixing it with that, then yes. Um, if you have normal to dry, I mean, 
normal to oily skin then yes I, I would because I really don't know how it would work for you but I heard that's a great foundation so I would recommend it the next thing is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Radiance Facial Wipes. Um, they're facial wipes, so yeah. Um, I really am not picky about facial wipes, but I remember really enjoying all of these. And Shea Moisture is a cruelty-free brand, so that's a plus. Oh, by the way, I did get this for $3.99 at TJ Maxx, and I believe they retail for like $6. I'm not really sure. I normally get all my facial wipes at TJ Maxx for around $3, but this one wasn't on sale, so this was $3.99, so still a great price. The next thing is the LA Colors Lash, and this is Demir in black. I think that's what it's called. Here's what they, the number is and stuff on them. Um, I remember these lashes are very nice. LA Color lashes are very nice if it you're looking for a one night type of lash they're very easy to apply very, a lot better than wet and wilds um the band is really um a lot more flexible so it's easier to apply and uh it's basically easier to apply and it looks more natural um they do have different types of lashes and i got this one um, I believe from a giveaway from Linda but yeah that's how I like experience these lashes but I know they sell them at Dollar General I don't know where else besides the website you know LA Colors website but they're a dollar and that's a great pop price for one time lashes and I would definitely recommend trying these lashes and I want to repurchase a lot more I would really recommend this um, and I want to repurchase a lot of them. The next thing I have is this Cure the Essentials Moroccan Argan Oil. I used the heck out of this. I love Argan Oils. Um, I love oils. Um, the, this Cure brand is pretty, pretty fantastic. I love Cure products. Like so far, anything I've tried from them, I've loved. Um, I really don't know where to get these things. I believe I got this from the Thrive Market haul too. So, but yeah, if you ever see the Acure brand, I definitely recommend trying anything from their brand. Um, and yeah, I don't know what else to say. I, I use this for a moisturizer after I wash my face at night before I go to bed. I use it to mix in with foundations. Um, it's pretty much, uh, I just love this. I love it. I love it. Would I repurchase? Hell yes. Do I recommend it? Hell yes. So when I did a that little haul for my 2K giveaway, uh, I bought, you know, the products for that giveaway, but I did keep the sample packets, and it was the Bare Minerals Veil Powder Infusion and the Veil Powder eye gel cream so it's like a moisturizer in a eye gel um i tried them out and they was nice but you can't really tell like major differences of using these types of products once but i just wanted to share it with you Shit. but i just wanted to share with you that i tried them and they um didn't give me any bad anything bad happen when I was trying them so yeah I would love to try more of this but sample packets ain't gonna really tell you anything so I do get luxury scent box um, every month or really you can just tell them whenever you want a box it's like a monthly subscription of perfume sample things like this um, they can send it to you every month but you have the available you have the option to like skip months or give them a date when you want your next shipment, which I had to do because once a month was getting a little too much for me. But this one was the Jimmy Cho. I don't know. Jimmy Cho. I'm just going to show you, but I will say this was a very, very, very beautiful scent. And when I wore it, my father-in-law um, smelt it on me. He said it was a very light scent, but it smelled very good. I'm not really good at saying what scents are, 
but you can look this up for yourself and see what the notes are and judge if you think you would like it or not. I wish I had a big bottle of this, but I do like trying different scents out. I've not had a scent that smelled this good in a really long time. So yeah, I do recommend y'all checking this brand out. And if you're looking for a nice perfume for the winter and it is a very universal smell so you could actually wear this during the spring too and it would be very appropriate so if you're looking for a new perfume um smell this when you go into the mall next time look it up on your on your computer or whatever and see what the notes are um i love the smell my father-in-law loved the smell so yeah the next thing is this little thing, which you can't see what it looks like because it's so wore out, but it's the M Cosmetics um, pencil liner. Those liners are very good. M Cosmetics, E-M Cosmetics, and it is their pencil liner, and this was the black one. I can't remember what it was called now, but I used the hell out of it, and it was very good, and I do recommend it. The next thing is the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. And this was the medium brown color. Um, I did a giveaway with this product. And I believe, I, where did I pick this up? I picked this up on CVS's website when they had a sale going on and I bought an extra for a giveaway. Um, but I used this one completely up. It was very, very good. As you can tell, it has a spoolie and everything. It's a lot like the Anastasia one, and I have tried the Anastasia one. Um, and I would say it would compare great to that. Um, yeah, this is only like, I believe it's like a dollar, maybe two. I'm not sure, but I know it's pretty cheap. It's LA Girl, so, um... Yeah, next time you're at CVS and you see this a brow pencil, pick at least two up because you're gonna like it. But if you wanna do a giveaway like me, you might wanna pick up four. Will I recommend this? Hell yes. And will I repurchase this next time I see it out? Hell yes. But I will make sure I buy at least two next time. I wanna say I use that up in a month or maybe less. So that's why I say get at least two. The next thing my sister gave me as a Christmas gift, even though she really knows that I do not, I do not like Estee Lauder, I do not like the brand because they are not cruelty free, um, but she gave it to me anyways, and since it's a very expensive brand, I figured I would try it um, and use it up, and um, yeah, I don't know why she wanted to give it to me so badly. Um, but I felt bad because it does it is a pricey item and she wanted to give it to me So I accepted it, but I have told her many times in the past that I, Estee Lauder is just not for me. I don't want it because it's not cruelty free But and I don't like this product like some Estee Lauder products She's given me more products than this one Let me just tell you what it is. It's Estee Lauder events not repair um, here's what it looks like. So it's like, um, kind of like a serum, I guess, but not like a oil type of serum. It's more like a, just a serum, um, that you use after you cleanse your face and before you put on your moisturizer. But yeah, I do not like this product because it broke me out around my mouth. Um, you could tell not on my last makeup video, but the one before that I had breakouts right through here. And it's because of this. Because before I put this on, my face was like it is right now, in the condition it is right now. Then I used this during that time. It was about a week or so or more. Um, and then it started breaking out around my mouth like crazy. When I say like crazy, it's like four or five pimples around one area around my mouth right here. Um, and maybe a little bit through right here, but it wasn't that bad, but it was enough to me not like this expensive ass product. Um, but yeah, and now I have stopped using it and it's cleared up after a week of not using it. So I don't like this or recommend it. Um, I don't like the brand anyways, cause they're not cruelty free. Um, it's expensive and it broke me out. 
so I don't recommend it at all and will not use again mm -mm. nope 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 I can I will give it back to her or throw it away one or the other there is some Estee Lauder products that I am using right now that I am enjoying it's like a foam cleanser um, and I do like their oil they're not old I don't know what it's really called but I like the oil they have um, I just hated this night repair I don't recommend it all right that is the end of my December empties um, I hope you enjoyed please don't forget to enter my giveaway that I have going on it was on a little card at the beginning of this video it's also in my description box and will be at an end card at the end of this video to make it nice and convenient for you to click on the video and enter up you have all the way up till um, January 26 to enter that so you have plenty of time I do monthly giveaways so if you don't win that one or this one coming up um, you'll have plenty of other chances to enter. Oh yeah, and um, if you want to see a recreation of this look with just with a different uh, lip color, um, then I posted that on my most recent makeup video. I believe it was titled something like a rose gold shimmer eye with a classic red bold lip or something like that. So yeah. I also did a update of my channel for 2019 so if you're interested in that see my most recent video I posted but yeah I hope you enjoyed my empties of December please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you buddies next time bye